Welcome to Season 5 of High School Quiz Show Maine, where 16 schools are competing to be this year's champion and take home $1,000 for their school's project graduation. In our sixth qualifying match, we have the Battle of the Rams. First up, it's the Rams of Deering High School. They'll be taking on the Rams of Bangor High School. That's coming up next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Maine Education Association, standing with educators, ensuring their voices, values, and priorities are respected as they continue to teach and support Maine students during the pandemic and beyond. Learn more at MaineEA.org. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Smart home technology can help prevent a little problem from becoming a big headache. You can ask an independent agent about smart home technology offers from Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you, thank you. Welcome to season five of High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. Welcome to our sixth qualifying match of the season, where we are making our way from 16 teams to one champion who will take home the $1,000 grand prize for their school's project graduation. And a reminder that this year, you will have the chance to win $500 for the school of your choice with our Quiz Show Conundrum Contest. That's coming up later in the show. In today's match, we have Deering High School of Portland taking on our season two champion, Bangor High School. Let's get things started by meeting the players. For Deering, we have Colby, Bennett, Eliza, and Sarah, with alternate Emma, and they're coached by Kyle Davenport. And for Bangor, we have Simon, Roland, Reardon, and Fallon, with alternates Nathan and Maddie, and coached by Carl Robbins and Susanna Owen. Now the competition, guys, has three rounds, a toss-up round, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. In this round, all answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players, though, you must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. All right, guys and girls, are you ready to roll here? Okay, okay, let's get it started here. Here's the first question. TVs, computers, and smartphones have RGB screens. What does RGB stand for? <phone rings> Roland, Bangor. Red, green, and blue. Correct. Three South American countries sit on the equator, Colombia, Brazil, and what other country whose location should be easy to remember? <phone rings> Reardon, Bangor. Ecuador. Ecuador is right. Sockeye and coho are species of what fish that fi that's famous for swimming upstream to spawn? <phone rings> Colby, Deering. Salmon. Salmon, right. When Jonas turns 12, he becomes the receiver of memory at the start of what book that's the first in a series of Lewis Lowry? <phone rings> Eliza, Deering. The giver. The giver is correct. All right, up next, we have a picture question. So take a look at this monitor right here, gang. The question is, name this U.S. writer credited with popularizing and epitomizing the jazz age with his well-known novel, The Great Gatsby. <phone rings> Eliza again. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes, again. In a story by Carlo Collodi, what title character sees his nose get longer when he tells a lie? <phone rings> Simon Bangor. Pinocchio. Yes. How long is four score in seven years? Eliza Deering. 87. 87 is correct. All right, up next, we have a video question. So again, please look at the monitor over there. Hi, my name is Kelsey Stoyanova, the 2022 Maine Teacher of the Year. Name the scientific term that refers to a DNA change that leads to a new genetic characteristic. 
Colby, Darren. Mutation. Mutation, correct. Onward we go. An award-winning historical project led by Nicole Hannah-Jones takes its name from the year the first enslaved Africans arrived in the Virginia colony. What is that year? Roland Bangor. 1619. That's correct. What fast-spinning, gamma-ray-emitting, super-dense stars were documented first by Jocelyn Bell in 1967? Fallon on the end, Bangor. Pulsars. Pulsars, correct. A cruciverbalist is, is skilled at doing what? A, growing vegetables, B, designing boats, or C, solving crossword puzzles? Simon, Bangor? C. C, yes, that's correct, solving crossword puzzles. A math question now. The senior class buys t-shirts for $15 each and sells them at a 20% profit. If the class sells 335 shirts, how much profit will they make? The answer is $1,005, $1,005. Open grassy plains in Southern Africa are known by what name that means field in Afrikaans? Reardon, Bangor. Savannah. Uh, incorrect. Ba uh, Deering, would you like to give it a shot? Feld. I uh, can just, just ring in, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, just get in that habit. Uh, what was it again? Feld. V-E-L-E-D. V-E-L-D. Judges? Yep, we're good. Good job. In the equation, sau equals RF sine theta. What does tau represent? Answer is torque. Torque. Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword were code names for the five beaches in what World War II Allied invasion? Reardon, Bangor. Normandy. That's correct. In 2009, U.S. Airways pilot Sully Sullenberger avoided catastrophe by landing his plane in what body of water in New York City? Bennett, Deering. The Hudson. The Hudson's right. From the Greek for leave out, what's the name of three dots inserted into a written sentence to indicate something has been left out? Sarah, Deering? Ellipsis. That's correct. What kind of medieval building would have had a portcullis? A, a barn, B, a castle, or C, a cottage? Roland Bangor. A castle. A castle is correct. In addition to an official residence at the White House, the president has access to what country retreat in Maryland named for President Eisenhower's grandson? Bennett, Deering. Camp David. Camp David, well done. The Jets and the Sharks are rival street gangs in what Broadway musical that was inspired by Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Eliza, Deering. West Side Story. That is good. The Pythia was the high priestess also called the Oracle, at the Temple of Apollo in what ancient place? Colby Daring. Egypt. Uh, incorrect. Bangor, you got a shot? Reardon. Delphi. Delphi is right. Nice job. In Morse code, one dot signifies the letter E. What does one dash signify? Bennett. A. Uh, A is incorrect. Bangor. Uh, Simon? S. S, close. It's T. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were just taking a shot in the dark, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. You almost got it. A political policy that bans economic trade with a particular country is known by what name from the Spanish verb that means to restrain? <phone rings> Colby, Deering. Embargo. Embargo is right. One of the world's first domed stadiums and the first major stadium with an artificial turf playing surface, the Astrodome opened in 1965 in what city? Roland Bangor? Houston. Houston is correct. In a chemistry lab, solution A of known concentration is added to solution B of known volume but unknown concentration. In order to determine the concentration of solution B, what is the name for this process? Colby Deering. Titration. <laughs> yes, you got it. The volcanic island of Krakatoa that erupted and killed more than 35,000 people was located between the islands of Java and Sumatra in which modern-day country? Simon Bangor. Indonesia. Yes, nice job. The Forbidden City was built and the capital moved from Nanjing to Beijing during what dynasty that ruled China from 1368 to 1644? Simon Bangor. Tong. Incorrect. Deering. 
Eliza? The Ming. Well done, you got it. Architect Oscar Niemeyer designed many of the government buildings in what South American planned city that became a world capital in 1960? Reardon, Bangor? Brasilia? Yes, nice job. All right, that's the end of round one. That's a good match we got going on here. Really close, Deering with 130 points, Bangor with 120 points. What a start to season five. We'll meet the teams when we come back. We're back and a reminder that we're not doing the head to head round this season, but we will take a few minutes to get to know our contestants with our special question. And this evening, the question is, what attribute from childhood do you wish more adults retained? Think it over real quickly. Deering, we're going to start with you. Colby, you go first. What do you think? I think a continued desire to learn. Okay. Yeah, you never, you, you just, you can learn something new every day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Uh, Bennett, what do you think? I think creativity. Creativity. Okay. With what? With art, with music, with sports, with... Just anything. everything. Just everything. Yep. Okay. We'll keep it going. Eliza, how about you? I think wonder. Wonder. Do you kind of go off into, you know, never, never land every once in a while, wondering and wondering? Definitely. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Sarah, how about um, you? I think the sense of humor. A sense of humor? Yeah. Are you known as like a funny one? Do you keep the, um, the, the room I, alive? I would like to think so. You like yeah. to think so? Is it true, team? Is, um, she, is she the funny one on the team? <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Um, let's move down the line to Bangor. And uh, Simon, what do you have? Uh, I'd say openness to new ideas. Openness to new ideas. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Although I don't really do that now. I'm really stubborn in my adult age. Mm. <laughs> I should take some of your advice. <laughs> Roland, what do you got? Um, I would have to say silliness because I think the world's a little too serious now. I love it. I love it, Roland. Yeah, we just need to kind of take a step back and, and just, just, just bring laughter back a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Reardon, how about you? Uh, I said imagination. Imagination. What, it, what do you imagine about? What do you, what, what, where does your mind go during the day, Reardon? <laughs> Just the ability to make something out of nothing. Yeah, yeah, I like it. That's cool. Uh, Fallon. Optimism. Optimism. You guys all have some amazingly, you know, smart answers. I was hoping for like, hey, we could still eat chicken nuggets or something <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> all right, we're going to get to the category round. That is next. But first... Here's your chance to win $500 for the school of your choice with our quiz show conundrum of the week. Hi, I'm Paul Riley from Safety Insurance and this is your quiz show conundrum. Unscramble the phrase, elk moose ahead. Your clue is, you might yell that when there. That's elk moose ahead. You might yell that when there. Submit your answer at mainepublic.org slash quiz show and you could win $500 for the main school of your choice. Unscramble the word or phrase to reveal the main location. Send your answer along with your name and a main pre-K through secondary school of your choice to quiz show at mainepublic.org. We'll choose two of the correct answers at random and the nominated schools will each win $500. A different conundrum will be revealed each week. Entries limited to one entry per household per question. Contest ends June 22nd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. Winners will be revealed during the Season 5 Championship episode. For full contest rules and alternate entry information, go to mainpublic.org slash quiz show and good luck. Welcome back to High School Quiz Show Maine. Next up, the category round with the following choices. All set now, nothing compares to you, creepy crawlies, sounds delicious, look for the union label, and New York, New York. Now each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, listen up. You must wait for me to finish the question before you buzz in. You can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. And we'll need your answer. And like in the toss-up round, if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. Um, Bangor, you're trailing just by a little bit, though. We're going to start with you. Which category would you like? Uh, let's go with nothing compares to you for 10. 
Nothing compares to you for 10. All the answers start with you, the letter U. Of the United Nations member countries whose names start with U, which is the only one in South America? Simon Bangor. Uruguay. Correct. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's go with uh, look for the union label, please, for 10. Look, look for the union label for 10 questions related to unions in the United States. What labor union for skilled workers was started by Samuel Gompers in 1886? Roland Bangor. The White Knights. Uh, that's incorrect. Deering, would you like to try? It's the AFL, the AFL. Uh, Bangor, you still have control, though. Uh, let's go with um, Sounds Delicious for 10. Sounds Delicious for 10. Questions about people and places with food-related names. What actor with a food-related name played Chip Diller in National Lampoon's Animal House and seems connected to all of Hollywood by six degrees of separation? Bennett, Deering. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you've got control now, Deering. Uh, can we do New York, New York for 10, please? We can. New York, New York for 10. Questions about New York City landmarks. What landmark was designed by Frederick August Bartholdi and brought to New York City from France in 1886? Reardon, Bangor. Statue of Liberty. Yes, that's right. Now you have control. Let's go with Creepy Crawlies. Creepy Crawlies for 10. Questions about lizards. Lizards. Basking in the sun keeps a lizard warm and helps it to produce what vitamin? Roland Bangor. Vitamin D. That's right. What you like? Uh, let's try all set for now uh, for 10, please. Okay. All set for now for 10 questions about the settings of books. What school of witchcraft and wizardry is the setting for most of the action in the Harry Potter books? Eliza. Hogwarts. Hogwarts, yes. Where would you like to go now? Uh, New York, New York for 15. New York, New York for 15. Not far from Liberty Island is what other island that was the point of entry for nearly 12 million immigrants between 1892 and 1954. Roland Bangor. Ellis Island. That's right. Your turn. Uh, let's do Nothing Compares to You for 15, please. Nothing compares to you for 15. When he was traveling in Asia, Marco Polo saw a rhinoceros and believed it was what mythical creature? Fallon. A unicorn. A unicorn, right, yes. What would you like, Fallon? Um, let's go with New York, New York for 20. Okay, New York, New York for 20. The American Museum of Natural History is famous for its 94-foot replica of what sea mammal that is the largest animal on Earth? Eliza Deering. Blue whale. That's right. Your turn. Uh, New York, New York for 25. New York, New York, 25. There's a Broadway theater named for what playwright whose works include Morning Becomes Electra and Long Day's Journey Into Night? <phone rings> Eliza again. Richard Rogers. That's incorrect. Bangor, you want a shot? <phone rings> it's Eugene O'Neill. Eugene O'Neill. Um, but Deering, you still have, you still have control. Uh, let's do Nothing Compares to You for 20. Nothing Compares to You for 20. In 1968, high schoolers from Maplewood, New Jersey, invented what non-contact, self-refereed, uh, self excuse me, team sport played with a flying disc? <phone rings> Simon Bangor. Ultimate Frisbee? Yeah, that's right. Great game. All right, what do you want, Bangor? Where are we going? Uh, can we please go with Sounds Delicious? Sure can. Sounds delicious for 15. With a last name that's the same as an Indian Spice blend, which Golden State Warriors superstar earned the nickname Chef, even though his wife is the one with the TV cooking show? <phone rings> Bennett, Deering. Uh, Steph Curry. Yep, Steph Curry. All right, Deering, where are we going? Uh, can we do New York, New York for 30, please? Sure, New York, New York for 30. Outside the New York Public Library are patience and fortitude. Larger than life statues of what kind of animals? Eliza. Lions. Lions, yes. Okay, Deering, you still have it? Uh, nothing compares to you for 25. Nothing compares to you for 25. Grace Vanderwall and Julia Nunez are singers who accompany themselves on what four stringed instrument? Roland, bang. The ukulele. Ukulele is right. Where would you like to go this time? Uh, nothing compares to you for 30, please. Nothing compares to you to wrap up the category. In comics and on TV, Sir Reginald Hargreaves is the leader of what team of superhero kids? 
Colby Deering. Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy is right. All right, Colby, where are we going? Uh, sounds delicious for 20, please. Sounds delicious for 20. Ice cream cake was a hit for which K-pop girl group whose name sounds like a different kind of cake? Red Velvet. Red Velvet is the answer. Uh, Deering, still with control here? Uh, sounds delicious for 25, please. Sounds delicious, 25. Sandwich, Massachusetts is the oldest town on what hook-shaped peninsula named for a fish? Reardon, Bangor. Cape Cod. Yep, you got it. What's up? Where are we going? Creepy Crawlies. Creepy Crawlies, 15. What common name is given to certain lizards in the genus Varanus because they stand on their two hind legs to survey their surroundings? Monitor lizards. Monitor lizards. Bangor still with control. Sounds delicious. Sounds delicious to wrap up that category for 30. Meatloaf had a small role as Eddie in what 1975 cult movie that starred Tim Curry as Dr. Frank Inferter? Dr. Frank Inferter. <phone rings> Colby Deering. Rocky Horror Picture Show? Yeah, you got it. Nice job. All right, Deering, where are we going? Uh, creepy Crawlies for 20, please. Okay. Creepy Crawlies for 20. Lizards are members of the taxonomic order Squamida, which refers to what characteristic of their skin? <phone rings> Eliza Deering. Scales? Yes, that's right. Scales. Uh, now where, Eliza? Uh, creepy Crawlies for 25. Okay. A natural adaptation called caudal autonomy allows a gecko to shed which body part of it body part if it needs to escape the grasp of a predator. Simon Bangor. Tail. Tail is right. Where to? Uh, let's go with all set for now, or all set now for 15. All set now for 15. Night, the book thief, and all the light we cannot see take place during which war? Colby, Deering? World War II. That's right. Okay, Colby. Uh, let's take, let's finish out Creepy Crawlies. Okay, let's do it. Lesser Antillian and Common Green are two of the 35 known species of what lizard that is mentioned in the title of a Tennessee Williams play? Ah. Iguana. Iguana. Deering still has it. Uh, all set now. All set now for 20, please. All set now for 20. Which award-winning science fiction author set a cycle of novels in the fictional archipelago she named Earthsea? Ah. Ursula Le Guin. Uh, Deering still with control here. All set now for 25, please. All set now for 25. Wild Swans, Red Scarf, Red Scarf Girl, and The Good Earth all take place in which country? Uh. China. China. Uh, Deering, go ahead again. Let's uh, finish out All Set Now, please. <laughs> okay, let's do it. What dystopian novel by Aldous Huxley is set in the year 2540 AD or 632 AF in a place called World State? Uh. This was a tough category. That was Brave New World. All right, Deering, we're up to uh, look for the union label 15. Look to the union label 15. A tragic event in the history of workplace safety regulations was the March 25, 1911 fire that killed more than 100 garment workers at what factory in New York City? Colby? Triangle shirtwaist. That is correct. We'll go for look for the union label for 20 now. With about 2.4 million members, the largest union in the United States is the NEA, which represents people in what profession that affects your life, actually, every day? Eliza? Education. Yeah, that's right. Yep. All right, we are at the end of round two. We got a battle here. Deering 320, Bangor 265. We've got the lightning round next, and anything can happen in it. Sit tight. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It's the lightning round. It's always exciting. Okay, players, here are the rules. You can buzz in any time. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20, and the other team will not get the chance to answer. The clock is set, guys, and here we go. What's the highest mountain in Maine? Simon Bangor. Mount Katahdin. That's correct. 
A tetrahedron is a solid figure with how many flat sides? Roland Bangor. Four. Four, yes. What car did Ford roll off the assembly line? Bennett Deering. Model T. That's right. Harrods Department Store is based in what European capital city? Eliza Deering. London. Yes. What magician was an advisor to King Arthur? Roland. Merlin. Ba Berlin. Uh, Merlin, yes. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu is most closely associated with what? Simon Bangor. Tao Te Ching. Incorrect. It's Taoism. Which New England city is the smallest state capital by population? Bennett Deering. Burlington. Incorrect. It's Montpelier. Hepatitis is an inflammation of what body organ? The liver. Ratified in 1933, which amendment repealed prohibition? Simon Bangor. 20, 21st. 21st is right. What fruit is a topping on a Hawaiian-style pizza? Simon again. Pineapple. Yes. Which is the only precious gem made of pure carbon? Colby. Diamond. Diamond, yes. Gary Larson drew what single panel comic that he retired in 1995 and revived in 2019? Colby again. Peanuts. That's incorrect. It's the far side. We are at the end of round three. Oh, this was a close one. Our winner this week is Bangor at 345. They're going on to the next round. They're moving to the quarterfinals. Our runner-up, Deering, with 340. It was so, so close. Both teams, you played awesome. Congratulations. Be sure to tune in next time. John Babst will take on Noble in our next qualifying match. We want to thank you for watching High School Quiz Show Maine. We'll see you again next time. Wow. Wow. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Maine Education Association, standing with educators, ensuring their voices, values, and priorities are respected as they continue to teach and support Maine students during the pandemic and beyond. Learn more at mainea.org. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance, we'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. And by viewers like you, thank you.